Avery Brin. Avery Brin. I see you. You guys, she makes this new face where she bites her lower lip and she like sucks in her lips and we call it her frog face. <gasps> Avery Brin. Yep, there she goes. <laughs> That's her frog face right there. Avery Brin. So today is day four, I think, of the helmet. It's Monday, and we got it last Friday. And Avery's been doing great in it. We did the first two days of checking every three to four hours, make sure there weren't any heat rashes or sensitivities or anything like that. And she had a couple, but they would always go away by an hour, honestly, by like half hour. So after the first two days, now we just keep it on 23 hours a day. Yesterday we did 23 hours. We took it off for one hour in the evening to do bath. And she was very happy to have it off. Huh. But she sleeps in it just fine. I do think it took a day or two to get adjusted. But now she sleeps pretty good. My mom just got Avery this new... Um, play gem kind of as like a helmet present she said and it's from love every and it is so fancy you guys it's got like dangling things for avery to hit um, and then every uh side has something different so this is like this has a teething uh -huh. ring and then you can play like peekaboo with it uh -huh. this is like sensation it's got pinkly um stuff in it this is like all the colors and then over there is mirrors and it also came with like different um, cards for her to look at and then also you can hang cards up above so I've done some black and white images because they say babies really like black and white so this has been very fancy she loves it she loves it and it's huge it's enormous so we like it a lot but I am vlogging today because a porter right behind me. Say hi, porter. Bye. <laughs> He's watching Spider-Man right now. We are about to leave in a little bit and go to the pediatrician for his three-year well checkup. His birthday was last week, which feels like it was way longer than that. But it was just last week. And so now we need to go and just get updated stats, weight, height. I don't think he has any shots, although he will be getting the flu shot. I'm not dealing with flu if I can prevent it. Gray already got his shot. He got his like a week ago and Porter will get his today. And then Avery, once she turns six months, so next month she will get hers. But babies have to get two shots because it's like the first time getting it. But anyway, so we are going to go with Porter. I'm so interested to hear, like, how big he is. Um, he's definitely gaining on Grayson. We have a scale up in our room that we use, and the boys like to stand on it to see how big they are. And Grayson is, like, just now hit 40 pounds, and Porter's at, like, 32. So he's not far behind Grayson. And he's tall, too. So I'm expecting them to say he, he's always been in the high percentile for weight and height. So I'm just waiting for them to tell me that he's a tall kid. So we will go and do that. Grayson is at school. He already got on the bus. He did get his first set of homework. Um, we get a whole week to do it, though. It's not like, oh, you have to submit it the next day. And it's just tracing numbers, so it's very easy. But I was so mad at him because he went when I wasn't looking and he took a red colored pencil and colored all over his homework like I don't know what he was doing so I went and got an eraser and kind of erased some of the red colored pencil but you can still see it it's just like faded Avery's talking so it is what it is but I'm like Grayson like I don't he's never had like homework before that he's had to like do it and turn it well he had it in preschool they had him practice writing his name a couple times but I don't know I was just like Grayson we don't do that so that's what I had to deal with over the weekend but we have this whole week to do it but I will probably have him do it today just so I don't have to worry about it what are you getting grumpy Okay. I plan on um, taking before um, pictures of her head shape so that once we're done in like three months, I can compare the head shape like 
my pictures. I know they're going to take pictures at the facility too. Um, we have our next head check appointment um, one week from today. They want to see us about every 10 days, at least in the beginning. And they will get updated pictures of her, I think, and also make adjustments by taking out foam on the inside of the helmet. So we will do that in a week, but not too busy of a week here, just school, soccer practice, and we got the pediatrician today. But other than that, um, not, too, not too much going on. What are you doing? Are you gonna make your frog face? Are you gonna make your frog face? Ah, Avery Brin. Ah, Avery Brin. Hi. That feels better. No, oh, your arm feels all better now? Yeah. Yeah. He just took his height and his weight. He stepped on the scale. Yeah. And he like... stood there. And then she took his blood pressure. Yeah. And he gave your arm a hug. Hey, Mom. Yeah? Just like me. I'm a dog. You're a doctor? He keeps telling me he's a doctor because you have your doctor kid at home, huh? Yeah. Yeah. And my pressure like it. Your pressure was good? It was green like the Hulk, she said, huh? Me too. Yeah. It was. Is the Hulk on the Spider-Man show you watch? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just here. Getting our three-year-old checkup. Mommy. Yeah. He's coming. The doctor. He's coming to say hi to you. How tall am I? How tall are you? Yeah. You're super tall. Like that thing. Yeah. What are you doing? What are you doing? I am. You got this little bear. Is that your friend? You guys, she has been driving me crazy today. She has only been taking 30 minute naps. Avery Bryn, you need to sleep. I can't really tell what it is. She's definitely getting a cold because she's had a runny nose today. So I don't know if that's affecting her, but it's making me go crazy because I haven't been able to get anything done. What are you doing? It's a big tongue. So it's a little later in the day. We are back from Porter's appointment, obviously. Porter uh, did actually really well at his appointment. They got his height and weight. He's like 76% off for height, 30 something percentile for weight. His BMI is like four percentile. So he's really tall, but really skinny. Usually he's about two pounds heavier, but he's been having this cold. It's like the first one we've gotten since school started. Shocked it's taken us this long to get sick. And so he's like lost two pounds. Um, so that made him look skinnier than what he usually is because he just hasn't been eating. So I think his throat hurts and when your throat hurts, you don't want to eat anything. So the doctor went and saw him, looked him all over, said he looked fine. He did say that there's strep going all around. So I'm hoping and praying we don't get that. He asked Porter different questions like, what's your favorite fruit? And he said strawberries, which usually it's bananas. And then he asked him, what's your favorite vegetable? And he said broccoli which Porter doesn't like broccoli, but okay. And then he was just asking him random safety questions, but the problem was is that Porter answered yes to every single question. So he would be like, when you sit in the car and, and you drive around, do you sit in the front next to mommy? And he was like, yes. Obviously he doesn't. He sits in the back seat with his, in his car seat. And he's like, when you ride your bike, do you wear something on top? Yes. What do you wear? Yes. Like, it was just, he didn't know how to answer the questions. So that was whatever. And then he had him like, can you jump up and down? Can you stand on one foot? Can you stand on the other foot? And then he gave him a paper ball. Can you throw the ball for like gross motor skills? And then he drew different things. So he drew a circle, a square, and a triangle. And Porter knew the circle and the square, but he didn't know what a triangle was. And then he did one, three, and seven, and Porter was able to identify all those numbers. And then he did A, C, T, and Porter knew all those, which he was very impressed because he said most kids Porter's age only get the shapes right. They don't usually get like the letters and the numbers. If they do get the numbers, it's the number three because they are three years old. Or if it's the letters, 
letters, it's the number A because it's or it's the letter A because A is the first letter of the alphabet. So he's actually very impressed with Porter's knowledge. So that was good to know. And then they asked if he, I wanted Porter to get the flu shot. I said yes. Um, and then they also informed me that he was due for a hepatitis A shot. I guess when he came for his two-year appointment, he was like, it was too early to get it, but he should have gotten into his two-year appointment. So I just had him give it to him there. They put this shot blocker thing on his arm, which is like, just like spikes. And I think it kind of digs into your skin. So it kind of tricks your mind into like focusing on that pressure instead of like the pain from the shot. So they gave him both shots in the same arm and he didn't even cry. I was shocked. I thought for sure he was going to scream and cry. So he did so good and then they gave him a sucker at the end which he loved so it was all good um got some paperwork filled out for his preschool because they have to have like his shot record immunization record on hand i guess the state requires it and then we came home and then we did nap time i did some work and now i've just been battling avery sleeping which she's not She's just looking at me, watching me talk. I'm about to go make dinner. And then I think we're going to run to the store. I think we're going to run to Lowe's, which we have been going so much. You guys, we have been trying to save our lawn. Something's wrong with it. We think we watered it too much. We think there's a fungus in our lawn, in our grass, because there's like patches of brown everywhere. But we can't quite figure out what it is. We put down like some type of antifungal stuff. But it doesn't really, I mean, like some of the grass looks way greener, but there's still brown patches. So now we're wondering if there's like a worm or a grub or something and we need like anti-grub seed. We put down fertilizer. It's helped in some areas, done nothing in other areas. Anthony says we need to like dethatch and aerate and overseed our whole lawn it has to be done like this week because after this week it's gonna get cold and you have to do it for the first frost so he's like freaking out about it so i guess we need to like go and go to the store and get this stuff i don't know i kind of let him take the reins on that but i'm happy to accompany him and then he said we need like to get some metal cage that like will scoop up all the nuts because we have so many nuts that fall from our tree it is so annoying so i think we're gonna look for that too but anyway i just finished pumping avery was chilling next to me and now i'm waiting on porter to clean his room because you guys he's such a stinker i put him to bed he didn't want to go to bed and this is what i opened his door to after nap time today all of his books he threw all of the books off his bookshelf and threw them onto the floor. It was so bad I couldn't even open the door at first. I had to like clear a path. So I told him you need to clean up your books. And that was about an hour ago. And he is refusing. So I told him he's not allowed to come downstairs until he cleans his room. I offered to help him. I told him just give me the books and I'll put them on the bookshelf. He refused to do it. I gave him several opportunities. I said, I'll give you one more chance. And then after that, I'm leaving. He still refused. And so now he's just sitting there and I'll let him sit the rest of the day if he doesn't do it. But I'm sure eventually he will give in. So we'll see how long this lasts, but he's just laying there because he refuses to clean up his mess. But I know if I clean it up, he's just going to keep doing it over and over again. So I need him to learn the lesson. So that's what I'm dealing with today. A toddler who refuses to clean up his mess and a five-month-old who refuses to sleep hope your monday is going better than mine so my mom got avery this new toy and it's supposed to help babies like distract them during tummy time and avery loves it porter loves it too but usually especially with the helmet on lately she's been really hating tummy time she has not complained once and she's been probably doing this for about 10 minutes now she loves watching this creepy crab and porter likes it too what do you think baby are you watching jim crab Uh-oh, is it stuck?